This is the second of two trees we've looked at in this yard where the trees have been transplanted from another location. This one has a lot of little branches up the trunk from the base, and many of these are gonna be temporary branches. We'll probably eventually establish a branch in this area, but we could go on up to this level, or the homeowner could choose to go on up higher with everything below the permanent branches coming off at some point in time. This particular tree was growing in an area where grapevines uh, were growing around the tree, and there are some tendrils that have grown on some of the branches. Those tendrils need to be removed so that it doesn't cut off growth to the end of that branch. The other problem we see with this tree is at the top of the tree, it has developed two central leaders. And on any tree, we wanna recommend one strong central leader. One of the keys with transplanting trees is that you wanna make sure that there's enough green leaf material on the tree as it's establishing to photosynthesize and keep up with growth, as well as a healthy root system below ground. And the bigger the tree that we transplant, the more leaf material will be necessary to photosynthesize enough for that maintenance and growth. For the University of Wyoming Extension, I'm Donna Hoffman from the ground up.